15, 16, me and Zucky used to do a lot of walls around Digworth area. Right. And what we'd do is we'd land the characters first and then we'd start with the pieces. And then once you've got like a character on the wall and stuff, old Bill would cruise past and it's, it, it sounds daft and it sounds simple, but they would leave you alone purely because there was a character on there. Killer, killer, podcast. KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. Right then, yeah. Okay, right. Yes, people, Killer Keller podcast. In effect, hope everybody's well and doing good. Looking after themselves, staying safe as safe can be. Us, on the other hand, switching on now. We are in location. That's right. To the second biggest city, Birmingham. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight, everyone checking out the television app. You know it's that street culture business. And we're definitely in the epicenter right now. That's what I'm saying. FKS. TWC, NHS, AC, my guy, Tempo 33. What are we saying, brother? Yes, brother. Happy <laughs> days, all good in the hood. We're about to take you on an excursion right here, baby. We're getting into some deep graph territory over here. This is one of the legacy holders. Temps, what's going on, man? I'm good, man. I'm sweet. Yeah. Weather's, weather's a little bit dull, ain't it? But it's to be expected, being January and all, but... Nah, man, I'm live today we'll and I'm fight, ready for this. We'll fight. We're, yeah, I'm up been, for this. You, listen, I've got to say this as well, brother. You, you were instrumental. And thank you so much in making it possible for us to even... To, for this to even be happening. You, you made it happen. I really, really respect nah, that. I respect, man. If I can ever, like, pull some strings and get shit sorted, it's what I do. People know that's what I do. You yeah. know what I mean? It's all about going onwards and upwards. That's what everything. I'm talking about. Not just, all, just about the graph. It's just about pushing the scene, you know? Yeah. And what a scene you guys have got. Listen, for those of you that don't know about what really goes down, I, listen, you walk out, the moment you walk out of the station, you're hit. Like, this place is lit with nothing but full burners. Birmingham does not play. How was it always like this? Nah, nah, it's, uh, it's, it's a madness, mate. Like, there's, you can't go nowhere these days. Everything is hammered. Everything is beat. Mad. Fuck him. It, it's, it's nutty. Like back in the day, yeah, it was smashed. It was smashed, but nothing like today. Like you got your rollers, your ladder spots, your rooftops, everything. And back in the day, yeah, it was like roadside dubs and. Well, Corsa was the man who did mostly the roadside. Old tight Corsa all day, my guy. Oh, Come on, king of roadside attractions. Yeah, you know I believe I mean? it. Freaking, he was he was the roadside man. But yeah, uh, the tracks and everything that were just slammed back in the day. But when but it doesn't matter where you go these days now like mm. you saw yourself when we was cruising earlier yeah everything is just battered yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> i came with a level of expectations but it pers- that superseded everything man. <laughs> I was like, yo this is crazy yeah, um, it's a naughty scene man we, we, we are we're on things we're on it yeah, we're on yeah, it over here yeah, definitely yeah. yeah yeah and it seems like i'm um, i'm not suggesting for any because you know nowadays with with street art being the way it's and also you know you're you're a Proprietor of street art and graph, you you yeah, yeah, you flitting yeah. between the two, which is fucking awesome. Um, but but with that in mind, it feels like there there is there's a level of people know graph around here in the city, and they come to expect it as opposed to they hate it. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, I don't know about that. Like uh, I mean, yeah, it is. It's here, there, everywhere. But I've. Like a lot of people always say these days, oh, it's um, accepted or whatnot, but it's not. It ain't accepted because if it was accepted, I wouldn't have to keep my head down every time I'm battering spots and stuff, you know, getting chased off, getting nicked, you know what I mean? Getting oyed at, getting bibbed at, fucking everything, man. Like we we do do certain things and make it look legit. That's how you make it. Accepted. So say like back in 2015, 16, me and Zucky used to do a lot of walls around Digworth area. Right. And what we'd do is we'd land the characters first and then we'd start with the pieces. And then once you've got like a character on the wall and stuff, old Bill would cruise past and it's, it, it sounds daft and it sounds simple, but 
they would leave you alone purely because there was a character on there. Character. It looked like you was working or something. Yeah, for real. We, didn't, we, we, we weren't working in legal. Mm. But we made it look so sick. Yeah. And then, like, you'd, you'd just, like, as they cruise past or whatever, you would you'd give them a glimpse. But then you'd just turn back around and just carry on painting yeah. as though to say, like, yeah, I've seen ya, but I'm supposed to be doing this. Mm. And they do, they just, they do, they just <laughs> leave it be. And that's how it's just, like, just spiralled out of control around, like, the Dick Bavaria and stuff like that. That's that but, shit. That's that intel that you need to know about, bro. <laughs> yeah. Because there is a lot of it going around, man. And you, uh, and for those that are uh, uh, outside of, uh, you know, Birmingham, this guy right here, he was the creator of the acid face with a brace um, uh, stick campaign. You had like a billboard poster campaign. You've been doing billboards. You do like the top to bottoms. You do the illegals, legals. You do, you, you've mastered it all. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk to me about the face with a brace, man. Um, well, that kind of like... I've been doing graffiti since I was 11, so it's like about, about 96, 97 I started doing graffiti. But back in two, 2007, is, uh, I went to the Tate Gallery in London and I seen, a, I seen this book called The Art of Rebellion and it was all stickers and um, what you call it, kind of like, uh, what they're called now, I'm trying to think. Oh words gone out of my head just like installations and it yeah stuff yeah. like that on the street yeah and i've never seen nothing like it in my life i know the book and you're talking about and yeah yeah and yeah, in yeah. it there was uh the people that caught my eye the most in there was uh like soul crew which is like lemke and all that yeah. um the toasters uh london police yeah. uh, d-face flying fortress all that kind of solid stuff all the kind of arty stuff like yeah. Yeah, it wasn't really tickling my fancy like but these like mm. these like um simplistic like ideas mm. but it's just so like bold and in your face yeah. like i loved it but um the tempo itself like i, I meddled with a few ideas doing stickers and shit but then i one night i come home buzzing i was like stoned then it <laughs> yeah. and i seen it in my wallpaper <laughs> like i was like i was off my tits and i seen it in my wallpaper i seen the top like left hand side of him and the bottom right hand side of him and i was like boy that is that's nutty so i just drew it down quick time and then I've gone into college the next day because I was doing graphics at the time. Yeah. So I was like access to the Max and it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I've just drew him up and stuff. Yeah. And he and I just couldn't catch my breath. He he just looks sick. And um, for real. And uh, what is it? That's when uh, I was sitting there with my pal, and um, I was thinking, what should I call it? Because back before then I was tagging font and it, which yeah. was my tag, which right. I started writing from when I was about fifteen. Mm -hmm. Um. And I says I don't want to call him fun, so I wanna, I wanna, uh, I wanna call it something else. Yeah. But it was like it said temp zero already on the Mac, in it, which stands for I think it's like template zero or something like that. Oh shit! You so fuck. my, so okay. my pal who sat next to me now goes, "What do you call it, tempo?" And I was like, "Right, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah you know." Yeah. I says he looks like he's got a temper and yeah. he's a round shape. I says that all makes sense, man. I was like, "Yeah." Yes, really. it's like it's like it, it's like he was like, like born. He's like I've had a spliff. He's born in my wallpaper, and then he named himself. <laughs> and that is when, like, I was just like, I'm sorry, but when you get given something like that, you have to smash it. You have to <laughs> because it's almost like you you, you you own. It's your responsibility to own that shit and 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 gr let it grow. But yeah, 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 exactly, man. Oh. So I just went nutty. I just went mad with it. I was, I was, uh, I got it from racking paint to racking labels from Osborne's office. You know what I mean? And yeah. just rinsing the ink off at college because obviously I had the um, facilities, facilities could, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get this shit up, and then that's when, um, what is it? I just, I just went, I just went mad with it. I was doing long walks because obviously I've been doing graffiti from a young lad. Yeah. So I had that man. I already had ten years mentality and experience yeah. of bombing and doing track sides and. Like just just doing all that kind of stuff, going tagging sprees. So and you're blah, saying you blah, adopted blah. that mentality into the sticker and the, yeah, the man. poster campaign. That's all I knew, innit? It's of thing. become like, like one of the iconic um, features of the streets of Birmingham, and without question, it's one of those. You know, it's almost like you know you've landed when you see that face. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. There's, there's not many places left where you can't go and not and not see. It. It's like, like a t-shirt campaign ready to go, baby. Like, oh, mate, it's mad. Like, and the billboards, like... So, so I just... I don't know, I'm just one of them people I just can't... 
I'm never happy with where I'm at in it. I can't stay still. Yeah. So like I got, I figured out how to make bigger versions of him. And then we got links to like these big printers. Yeah. So I got all the big posters printed. And then I thought I figured out how to do billboards. And I got it wrong first time, trial and error. Yeah. So then I tried it again. And next thing, like, uh, I mean, back then, like, um, like, people always say to me these days, because I'm driving now, oh, it's all right for you, you drive, you can get around. Yeah. I never drove back then, like, when I first started doing it. And it was everywhere. I used mm. to get on the bus, yeah, mm -hmm. with a billboard, a bucket of paste, or two, because it's a billboard, a mm. broom, all my posters and ladders on the bus, mate. Exactly. So like when people all go, oh, you got wow. a car, it's easy. I didn't have a car back then. And I still literally carried everything on the bus and then I'd have my high-vis jacket on. Yeah, high-vis <laughs> does the job, right? That, that changes the game because people think that it's legit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, is there anything that you surprised in yourself where you like see it for, like six months and you're like, dude, not even, the not even the companies know that that's on there or they know that it's like... It's illegal. Nah, but what it is, I uh, I fully picked the dead billboards, and it. Yeah. Because you've got a lot around Birmingham which are out of use. Right. So the moment I see, because uh, obviously you've got like Clear Channel, which yeah. are the companies and stuff. As soon as um, as soon as they take off that logo of their company, and yeah. there's nothing on there. Boom, it's you're game. in. Game. Yeah. yeah. So I could do the billboard dead, and it will just last for as long as it stays up for how long do you how long uh, like how long do you like do you do you have like a circuit in which you see when things is there a timeline that you keep to when these posters come and go is it is it to that to that level of nah just whack them up and hope yeah. for the best and if it stays up long enough it, then sweet like, the trouble about this game like in that game is uh like the wind will just whack it off and the weather will whack it off and that's stuff that's life like, yeah I get you yeah like, like graph like graph stays you know what I mean yeah graph but stays. that stuff it's quite funny because you know my tag's my tag name's Tempo. You could say it's temporary. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said it. Yeah. But <laughs> how did you? I mean, look. Like, by, by the way, if you're not watching and, and 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 you're listening, we are on. You can hear the the trains rolling. Let me just check whether the camera's rolling, so you guys can take a good fucking look at it. Yeah, check out this. There is some Tempo business right behind us. No joke. I'm going to do a little pan around here. We're also doing a mini dock on the area as well. No games. Um, Tempo's the man, man. Like, and TWC is like a legendary graph crew. Uh, obviously, Goldie and Zuki are inside the, the, the ride with that one. How did you get into, and, you know, FKS and AC and oh, mate, NHS, the original. I mean, <laughs> NHS is like, you know, national. But, but like, how did you well, get into well, this? Well, this is the madness again, isn't it? It's like, um, I just randomly, like, I randomly got a phone call. I was at work, and it. Yeah. And uh, there's this geezer putting on a mad voice and mm. he was selling, asking me if I can paint his Domino's hall. He goes, oh, all right, he's that's uh, Tempo. Can you uh, paint my, paint my uh, Domino's um, club? Uh, we have games there, blah, blah, blah. Uh, buffets and shit like this. Chatting a load of crap <laughs> and all this stuff. Like, and then he goes, no, 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 I'm only messing. It's Corsa. Now, I'd never fucking spoke to Corsa before oh this. Oh, my God. And I was like, wait. And my gaffers looked at me because I worked at this um, factory at the time. Yeah. And he's looking at me because I'm on my phone. And obviously, it's Corsa. So I've looked at my gaffer and I was just, like nah and I've walked outside yeah yeah this thought, is too much for putting, me I ain't putting the phone down I don't know shit about you I ain't putting the phone down now I've gone outside he's chatting to me he's going oh I've been on the sesh for two days with Venz and he's just showed me all your stuff and um, I think it might have been uh, on Facebook or MySpace at the time um, 2012 it was and uh and then he just started sending me texts uh, afterwards saying, uh, mate, I'm looking at your stuff. You're smashing levels upon levels upon yeah. levels and all this sort of stuff. And he goes, I want you to represent uh, INS, NHS, FKS and AC what? all in one swoop. What? Like that. And I was just like... You melted. You're was, on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, serious? And he's just like, I couldn't, I couldn't catch my breath, man. That's a screenshot, that shit, and send it to everyone. Like, look what has just you know, happened. Here's the thing, you, to, to know Corsa, like, I, I'm, I'm acquaintances of him, and, I, you know, I've, I've known him long enough to know that when he texts, right, it, it, it's with a desire and a purpose. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like, yeah, you know, yeah, messing. Yeah. He's like, when he's, when he's keen, he's, he's in. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Must have been, you must have lost your property, man. Bro, I don't know what happened, mate. I was just, <laughs> but to get all of them, including the AC on the end. I mean, FKS, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've always loved INS and NHS, and I've always aspired to at least get in NHS. Yeah. But when he threw me in FKS That's as well... That's a whole different level. You were like, up in the, 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 the legendary status of that crew alone, and the fact that you're... 
Yeah, you're being honoured by the guy. Yeah. And he put me in it for billboards and stickers. He says, I'm not into that art fag shit and all that street art stuff. I mean, neither am I really. Like, I never knew about the street art right. world at all. And I'm not going to lie. And like, everyone in the street art world will tell you, I don't get on with any of them because mm -hmm. I'm a graffer. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. they're a different kettle of fish. Like, mm. they're, I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not feeling what they do, like sort of thing. They kind of like prepare stuff at home, go out, install it, jobs are good then. Here's one I made earlier kind yeah, of thing. I, uh, I, I go out with a yeah. water stickers, probably this, this high like, and I will walk for about four hours and I'll just hammer everything, same as if I was going tagging, but just like, just literally everything. And I'll do it first thing in the morning when no one's about, and it'll be like drain pipe, uh, traffic post, whatever, bloody boxes, bus stops, shops. Just, you just go just, in. Just every, every, everything, just can't even walk a couple of metres out doing it. At this point, I got a shout out Solo One in London for the, the campaign that he, back in the days, the sticker campaign, pioneered some real heavy sticker action, you know, and Toaster, I mean, again, like Toaster, that's a, that's a really underrated, unsung, they they jumped in on the sticker thing. Early, yeah, 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 they? yeah, yeah. Well, I've seen that, I've seen their stuff, because obviously when I went to college and stuff, mm. those were some of the first things I've seen, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I started clucking these stickers, I never knew about the sticker scene. Yeah. But I started seeing these stickers, because Birmingham didn't have this. No. We, we've always just been nitty gritty graph. That's yeah, yeah. it. Raw. We had chew. Yeah, it's full on raw. Like I said to you earlier, driving through Digbuff, it's yeah. not a street art place, it's yeah. graph. Yeah. Like you got your, I mean, I did actually kind of produce the street art scene to be fair, because I was the first one to start smashing it everywhere, yeah. man, and everything. And um, what is it? So, all these other people started coming out the woodwork and doing their own thing mm. and stuff. But they weren't, they weren't, they weren't coming from graft. They weren't coming from no background. Yeah. They were just producing art and putting it up. And it was just a different mentality. And like, to, like, I mean, there's a few people I've met and yeah, I rate them and I yeah. think they're all right. And then there's a few of us I tried to take under my wing and they've just wanted to go down the like, no, I'm just gonna say the art fag route. Right, the street and art, the more yeah. the art. And, full and, stop. And, yeah. yeah, and as soon as they do that, that's it then. I don't wanna know. I'm like, well, you fuck off and do that. Because they migrate from being cool and edgy and then they go into this yeah, zone yeah, where yeah. they use that as a, as a c currency to get um, more, more work. Yeah, uh, but that yeah, isn't associated yeah, pretty with the much. culture. I mean, it's all well and good. It's the biggest argument. It is the biggest argument out of all of it. People actually do like the street art stuff. They just don't like the ma some of the characters that, that, that orbit around those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, precisely, man. But like I say, like I, that was another thing that stoked me. I mean, Toasters got in touch with me as well. Yeah. Like to do a wall in Brum. And I was just like, foy, that's madness. But yeah. like I did that, but like... Uh, as people, I thought they were a little bit arrogant, really, to be fair. Like, they kind of, yeah. like, they know... They, 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 like, it's almost as though, like... Like, you know, when you, they say about meeting your heroes and all that sort of stuff, like, you, like, I met a few and they just, like, they just look down at you and shit. Mm. And it drives me mad, that does. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't, don't ever understand when people are like that. Yeah. But I've met a few that have just been, like, like spot on. So when I, when I did the war with the toasters, and um, they brought Soul Crew with them, and I've become good mates with Lemke, who does the light bulb, the smiley yeah, light bulb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what is it? I ended up doing trips back and forth to yeah. Holland, then uh, staying at his, and like because they were like printing off stickers over there, I was getting them for cheap, and I was just like flying over there. Like he said, he send them. I was like, nah, I'm gonna pick them up because then I'm gonna stay for a yeah, few yeah, days yeah. and hammer shit. Yeah, yeah. And so that's like, the spot to do it, like you know, Holland, yeah. and Breda, fucking Amsterdam, all them spots, you know. Me, and then while I was over there, I then on another trip, like popped into Amsterdam on the way back because yeah. they didn't all from Eindhoven, innit? it. Right. So I right. popped over to Amsterdam and met up with Chaz from the London police, and he let me like uh, sofa surf at his, and again, like these were the people that I saw in that book. And I'm thinking, what am prophecies. I doing here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next thing I'm bro, going I'm out. like that with you, bro. I'm like here with you. I'm like, yeah, this is cold. <laughs> this is mad. No, nah, nah, that was a madness. A proper madness. And uh, we're going out for a curry with Chaz now. And he's like, oh, you remind me of me when I'm younger and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And he's given me a bike to have while I'm there. And um, he went off and done his own thing. And I just went off doing posters and tagging yeah. and everything. Yeah, the yeah, dam. Yeah, yeah. But just to have, just to... 
just to like it's just the madness to meet them yeah, them sort of people the same and it, it tells you that it's the okay sign and you're doing right yeah, 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 yeah. This is no joke. Well, I mean, again, if you're not watching and you're listening, because there's enough of the earbud crew inside that, that don't watch. But, and they can hear that for sure. They must be able to hear the, <laughs> the, the works above us. Is, you know, we're under a train track, for real. The, 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 the pod, the, the tripod is, is on a rail track. <laughs> and, yeah, this, yeah, this is the real deal. Like, and from what I see, bro, like, you're up everywhere. You're up everywhere. Some of the most... We, we drove through some, like, rough areas. We drove, drove dual carriageways. You're everywhere. And it just feels like you've been cutting chops and doing your thing for a minute. It just seems like you, you've got... You have a, a style, and, and Birmingham has a style, and you, you guys have helped refine that. And it's a real look to a Birmingham art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Graph scene, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... Um I mean, a lot of people, for some strange odd peculiar reason, will always, uh, they'll always like, kind of, um, what's the word, like deny, but they do the yeah. Birmingham style. Yeah. Like, oh, my letters and Brum style, rare, rare, rare. But you look at them and you think, they are. Yeah. They're just your own interpretation of them, sort of thing. Like, yeah. mine, mine is, my, my, back in the day, I, I was just like looking up to Corsa, yeah. and uh, especially like in the Penguin Epic, <laughs> yeah, Penguin oh, for Epic real. era, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. When him and Epic were out and about, just paying an Epic whole time, mate, fucking OG God. levels. Them days were nuts, mate. I mean, like you just you just get on a bus into town or whatever, guaranteed something fresh every time. Yeah. And of course, that it was always like naughty roadside dubs, mm. but they were never. They were always on point. Mm. The proportions were just always spot on. It's always so, so clean balanced, and just so balanced. <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah. Even the tags, the lot. And people from the new generation of writers these days, they don't, <sighs> they don't get it. No. Like when, like people always think we're kind of like being OTT when we say about how coarse it was back in the day, because they, because obviously a lot of it's gone now. Yeah, you know, with the buff and cleaning and stuff like that. So those that never grew up then don't really. They can't understand, grasp it. yeah, mm. and don't get it. They think they're going out there smashing shit, like fucking killing it and getting a big head about it. And I'm thinking, you ain't doing fuck all in comparison to what some people did no, back I'll in the day. I feel you, I feel you. And you know what? You, the, the, even outside of the graph, uh, Causa's presence as a character was undeniable. Yeah, he yeah, knew yeah. he had it. He knew it. He was like, <clears throat> he was like a sportsman in his prime. Do you know what I mean? And he was he he had that um, magnetism to bring in London writers as well. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Bring them in, like you, I mean, Shaq said it on the podcast. <coughs> you know, Birmingham as a, as he's a, he's active, and people love to come down. And when they see a character like yourself or Cause or Zuki or any, you know, Alst being like one of the new names out there at the moment. You know what I mean? People, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a there's, it's a beacon. People want to know what's going on. But that's it, man. And what it is with Corsa, and, and, and for myself as well, is uh, the way I look at it these days, like back in the day when I was writing funds and stuff, yeah, it was probably like quantity over quality, just getting up, doing blah, blah, blah. By default, yeah. But these days I prefer my quality, innit? it? Mm. So like the way I look at it is uh, it's like being in the, it's like the sea, innit? it? Imagine just like a load of salmon. Imagine like, you know, schools of fish and shit. So you could <laughs> throw up, say, say all your little dubs and pieces and tags of fishies, just like <laughs> school of fishies, yeah? But then you go bang somewhere like that. It's a fucking shark that Changes is, Changes the game, yeah. It's a shark. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, I'd rather be a great white. I'd rather you walk down the street and fucking, you know, see my shit and go boom. Yeah. Or bang, like, wah, as mm-hmm. if you've done that there. Rather than just going around throwing little crappy, unstylistic tags and yeah, yeah. unfinished quick throwies. And, you know, yeah. you, can throw, you can go out and throw 50 throwies in one night. So what? Yeah. Like, but unless you, unless you really like, you're putting these throwies up in spots and like really c- making them clean and making mm. them pop and making them bang, then you know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's what course it did back in the day, man. Everything, everything was a head turner, man. Everything. I wish I was there to have seen that back in the day, boy. I tell you, <laughs> to see, I mean, you know, we had cause on the podcast, hold tight, you know. Um, but yo, this one's yours. And one thing I will say, bro, like you've managed to the detail, even the, even your tag, you know, yeah, it's yeah. like it's it's recognisable. It's and I don't see, however, I don't see the the um, the, the common thread between 
the acid face and the tag and was that done in, on, on purpose was there it was a diff, was there a, an intentional differentiation and demarcation of of those two brands well, I was styles? never I was never really going to tag tempo before <coughs> I'm getting some mad drive, haven't I? It's all right, uh, keep going, keep going. We're nearly, we're nearly there. We're nearly on the home stretch, baby. We're nearly done it. We're nearly done it. We're nearly done it. We're staying there. Doing good. What is it? Um, I was never, I was never really going to tag tempo before. Yeah. I was just going to be the sticker, but um, what do you see? The I was going to say just um, going out with other people and writing yeah. and stuff. I just started to put it up because yeah. I was like sticking to font and stuff. But then it just kind of just it just crossed over like it just happened sort of mm. thing. And fun's just like a thing of the past. I'll put it up now and then. Yeah. These days, especially if I go at like uh, old ends or whatever. Yeah. But um, what's the word? Uh, trying to think. Progression, I think, is the right key for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's all like that. But um, I do. It does look so like separate, like my graphs and my street art stuff. Yes, I do keep it separate but I also make sure that people know it's you straight art just yeah. stays raw as yeah. well yo I think there's a mission brief that's super important come a little bit more into the camera here just a little bit I think that's like super important you know because if you if you let street art be dictated by uh, the, 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 the overall powers that be that deem it alright and culturally appropriate you do lose the edge and that, that's like the last bastion of why it's it's commercially graph can be seen as commercially viable and your parents can kind of get with it do you yeah, know what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. it's one of those now um and whether people like it or not we wouldn't be sitting standing here doing a podcast if there wasn't an interest yeah 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 so you've got to try like and keep this, the street like street now, art raw like this right yeah like this this is tr- like fucking this is illegal this ain't fucking like, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what i mean like i will put my all into shit i'm not i've done like I'm, yeah. not, I'm not down with the legal shit. Like when we went through yeah. Dig Buff earlier, it's very like a grey area around there. Yeah. And uh, you can kind of get away with it. And yeah, that's Dig, Buff is people... a, Dig Buff is the area. We'll get a little screen up on it. We're, the Dig Buff is the area where um, a lot of people, it's a, bit like, it's a bit like Old Street Shoreditch. You know what I mean? It's, it's got that kind of reputation, but it's, it's kind of dulled. Out. It's, it, you're, you're saying it's dulled out a little bit, hasn't it? Um, for me, it has. A lot of people tend to stick around around there. Okay. It's just easy because the paint shop's there. Yeah. People buy paint. I know nothing, by the way. I'm just I'm I'm going on pure like intel from my gang, you know. People, people buy paint, and then they just don't really want to yeah. adventure out too far, too much, like because they they're just... in the safe space. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's and that's why I kind of like right. not really down with that place anymore. Like it was exciting at the start. Yeah. Back in like uh, I think it was like um, trying to think what year it was that we um, started kind of proper hitting it. Yeah. Because me and Nuzo were the first ones to start hitting Dig Buff. Yeah, yeah, how tight. Um, trying to figure what years that was. It was like 2009 or something like that. Because uh, we was popping down to places like Shoreditch. Like Nuzo, uh, new, um, uh, Nuzo 48, by the way. Yeah, yeah. In case anyone's wondering. Yeah, spell it, spell it. Nuzo. Yeah, 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 spell it. 48 Nuzo. Yeah. Um, what is it? He, uh, he knew a few people down in London. Mm. So he used to go down to Shoreditch. But then he knew a few people... In Manchester as well, so we used to go to Northern Quarter. Oh shit, so used to go everywhere then. And um, what you call it? Uh, them areas were hammered. Yeah. Like battered, like right. just covered in art. And whereas, um, whereas we had nothing like that. Yeah. So we were sitting in the Rainbow Pub the one night, just like, banging our heads together, wondering like where could we turn into like a Shoreditch sort yeah. of thing. And that's when uh, that's when we thought Dig Buff like. Did you hear that? Proprietors <laughs> here, baby. These are the these these are the location owners, baby. But trust me, a lot of people yeah. will think I'm fucking talking about fucking ass when it comes to that. But Comment I, below. <laughs> but I even I even have the sc- like the fucking screenshots wow. of Google Maps when like it was just me and Nuzo just hitting everything. Wow. And then uh but then uh, they started doing secret wars and started bringing stuff like that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Some, um, and yeah. Stuff. So then all the writers will be in the rainbow. I mean, at the end of the night, when we're all drunk, we'll just yeah. be pouring out. Yeah. And everything will just be getting hammered and battered. Wow. And over time, stuff just Just got, does its thing, yeah. Just went nutty. And then the bench, the bench 504, they were based in Quinton at first, but because everyone was hitting Digworth so hard, yeah. they've moved to Digworth now. 
well, they're not there now. They've gone to Bristol, but back then they moved to yeah, moved there. Yeah, and yeah, it just all just and everything's been it's weird. It's like uh, everything's been revamped. Like mm. graffiti, it's like we did so much graffiti around there. <coughs> Pardon me, we did so much graffiti around there that it's almost as though Birmingham realised. Like remembered an area, so then all these bars started moving in, yeah. and all these nightclubs, classic. and all these like cafes yeah. and stuff. Classic. And then before you know it, it's like an upcoming area sort yeah, yeah, of thing. Yeah. But it's going to die off soon because uh, there's a lot of um, like uh, flats and apartments and stuff being yeah, built. The, the up, up, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I and feel it's it. all going to slowly disappear. We, you, we can see it. The sign of the time, and also you know that is that's progress in a lot of uh, cities minds which i don't know man i th- i think i think things like this legal or illegal as seen when i walked off the platform on the station it it, uh, it changes the face of of a city for the better like you don't want fucking dead walls you don't want dead boards no 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 tell me some of them tell me a couple of the Badass fucking graph stories you might have under your wing. Tell us some fucking hardcore shit. Tell us something. <laughs> tell us something we don't know. Hardcore shit. Fuck me. Yeah, now you're under pressure. <laughs> I was under oh, in hindsight, of course, this is retrospective. You know, he's a, he's an upstanding member of the community now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think I think like um, I mean, these days, I, like I mean, every day, every day is a nutty day when you yeah. when you go out doing graph. It's never going to be normal. Yeah. But I think. Uh, I think the days when I realised the sort of stuff I was getting into was probably be more when I was about 12, 13, uh, when I'm kind of ages. So, like, uh, like a lot of kids would be playing football or hanging out with the mates in the park or yeah. what have you. Whereas me and my boys, like, uh, used to knock about with uh, Quicks, Clears, uh, Dismo, uh, some. Yeah. <coughs> with, um, with Bridge. We'd be out of our comfort zone like most kids, you know what I mean? We'd be um, jumping on buses and just go, gunning to different areas. And we're only yeah. youths. Yeah. Like, we're only kids. Yeah. And uh, like 75% of Brum, if you're not from the area, people will know you're not from the area. You can tell. And back then, as kids, like knife crime was rife, muggings yeah. was rife. Yeah. Like, you'd get mugged in town, and especially as a kid. Yeah. We were like easy targets, you know what I'm saying? So all the kind of areas that we'd mission off to, like on the buses and stuff, mm. blah, blah, blah. I think, that, I think that were probably the days when I realised like, that there was more to graph than just tagging. Yeah. Like there was ducking and diving. There was mm. look, looking after yourself, looking mm. after your mates, mm. having a bit of a backbone. You know what I mean? Like yeah. having, like I remember uh, when I was 13, there was a spot in Billsley called Kemmer's Alley. We've hopped over the fence now and it's all these abandoned garages. And then there was some writers in there and they've all come out and they're all saying, saying to us, what are you doing here? Fuck off, rah, 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 and all this shit. So we dicked off, but we yeah. come back later and what it is, in the garage there was, there's just foil everywhere because there's a massive crack scene, you know, back then as well. So as a 13 year old, yeah. you, you did just seen all, yeah. all this kind of stuff. Yeah. So where it's like, you know, probably got my brothers and that and they just kind of like uh, played football and went out with their mates or blah, blah, blah. But when you're a graffiti artist, so you, hold on, so you stumbled into a crack house, essentially? Literally, yeah. So I mean, Just right going, doing a bit of paint, that's mad. You know what I mean? Because as a graffiti, as a writer, you do, you, you lurk about and you yeah. run around and you go to all these places that you would never really yeah. consider going if you was just, you know, Joe Bluggs. Yeah, yeah. So the things, the things I've seen, like in that respect, you know what I mean? Crazy. It's a bit, a bit, a bit like a uh, grimy, really. Yeah. To be fair, but you're and, in uh, the mix, yeah. And it's the same today, like it's the same today, like yeah. um, I mean, uh, me and Zuki did a painting not long ago, and we had to put cones on top of all the human shits that was around the wall and stuff. Oh you know what I mean? Oh my god, like, yeah. Uh, then like I done another spot once with Keiko. I had to stand on this ledge, and I had to kick off all the glass, all the moss, and all the needles. Oh my god. So, so like. So needles to, to kicking the needles. Yeah, move them, yeah. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, I've got plenty of stories about fights and all this, that, and the other. Yeah. But I think seeing the world for what it is, I think that's that's kind of like something people forget. Sort Ooh. of thing, you know what I mean? When it comes to the graph scene, everyone just thinks it's. So like when you speak to people that don't do graph, they're like, "Oh, what you still doing that like mindless scribble and all that sort of bullshit kind of thing." Yeah. And, 
It's kind but of you're hard actually to seeing the real world. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I, I, you, you kind of try to tell them that there's more to it than just this, that, like, you know, just scribbling, blah, 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 etc. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of my friends that don't do graffiti know this anyway because I see my paintings and stuff. And, and they know it's legit, yeah. They know it's sick. But I don't think they really understand all the other stuff mm. that goes into it, man. And did, did, what would you like to say to to an upcoming writer? Let's just get into not, that. Oh, we're not coming writer. Yeah, thinking you know, cuz yeah. this sounds like risky fucking this is risky business, but what would you like what to I'd say, say to, to them? I'm not coming writer. You stop trying to do pieces from day one. Yeah. Like I never done this shit overnight. Mm. Like I when I first started, I was tagging probably for three years solid mm -hmm. like that's all I did mm -hmm. like I started like by just doing labels and mm -hmm. stuff and then I've like uh, like rub pens from Staples or Office mm -hmm. World or whatever it was and then uh, like uh, no one where I lived did graph really so I had to figure it all out for myself I, was, mm -hmm. I remember um, you know BBC no CBBC Big Bash or whatever it is <laughs> I went to that once and I rubbed <laughs> yeah. all the coloured hair dye CBBC is a children's <laughs> television network by the way kids <laughs> I know yeah international crew about, about 11, 12 and I rubbed all the all the hair dye from this stand like these uh, there's like green and blue and everything like yeah. spray cans and um, I remember pinching all of that and then just as soon as I got over just flew down the canal with them like just dropping up so I spent a good three years just tagging yeah. and like doing outlines in yeah. books and just looking at graph when I would get on the train to town or if I was on the bus or... Super important, isn't it? Yeah, but like, and then I never did my first dub until I was like 15. Wow. That's what I'm saying, like, it was a track side. I was with uh, Quicks yeah. and uh, I'd done that outline and um, he uh, he told me I've got to fill it in first and I was all, my mind was blown, man. I was yeah. like, what, I've got to fill it in first? Yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah, this yeah. shit. That's the wrong way around. Yeah, 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 it was mad. <laughs> So I filled it in first and I'm like, boy, well, how do I fucking find my fucking lines now? Yeah. And I'm doing that again. But yeah, and so I've done that. And then I think I did dubs then, constantly doing dubs for about another two years before I did my first colour piece. Wow, so you've had a... You know, patience. That's it what is, it is. Man, it Actually, is. that's one thing to tell the, tell the youngsters. If you're talking to youngsters... Yeah. That's the one, isn't it, really? Yeah, I mean, I mean don't get me wrong. Look, like, I saw I Patience. saw everyone's dubs and that yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah. But, but I didn't just jump on them, man. Yeah. Like, at all. In fact, I, in fact, it wasn't even a... I didn't even think about jumping on them. Yeah. I just enjoyed the tagging and stuff. Yeah. I just perfected my tags and blah, blah, blah. And honestly, yeah, like, I must have I must have tagged for three years before I'd done my first first dub. That's good. And that, and, and, it, and that would be my word of advice, is just stop trying to run before you can walk. Mm -hmm. Because... That's I'm not being funny, but a lot of people that try to do all of that first, they they do start improving on their pieces, mm. but their tags are shocking. Yeah, tough. And, and yeah. do you know what? Once you've mastered your tag, like there's so much flow and so many angles and so much going on when you drop a tag, that all them little like manoeuvres and stuff they work into will a bigger work thing. into your piece. See, that's such a that really important message. To, Whatever kind of graph you're on, that that's super important. Yeah, I feel... <laughs> yeah, we got to make a move on this, right? Look, give us a shout-out, brother. Tell us what's up. Give a shout-out to the peoples out there. Tell, tell them what time it is. Yeah, man, I just want to fucking... Uh, what is it? A shout-out to all my KBZ lads, all my NHS, all the FKS, all the AC, all the TWC. Uh, singly, I just want to uh, shout-out to Quicks, Clears, uh, Swum. Uh, who else is it talks about? Epic, Corsa, um, what is it? T-Bone. Sway. Yeah, T-Bone. T-Bone. This is very like, there's going to be so many now. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, Under pressure just, now. It so. is, man. It's a madness. It's a madness. They'll be like, one, someone's going to message me now and they'll be like, where was my shot? Yeah. I'm going to say uh, big up to court, man. Like, still holding it tight. Uh, Data. Data's a boy, man. Fucking, he just... Everywhere I go, man, like I go everywhere. This yeah. guy's been writing as long as I have, and these tag. tags are everywhere. Yeah, um, and yeah, I want to just uh, big up to uh, my man Combs, uh, Go On. I'll touch Shaq. Oh, yeah, Shaq. <laughs> yeah, I got you, kid. Yeah, it's hard, man. It's hard to think on the spot, man. But no, just all the right. brum, just all the brum, man. All the girls, all the boys, just everyone, man, that's just killing it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Respect. Tempo. Three, three, three. Temper 33 inside the place. Big shout out to you, my brother. And uh, yeah.
More to come. More to come. Yeah, man. No sweat. And thank Keep you so guys. much. It's all right, man. Killer Keller podcast, striking with a bench, knowing to play around here, sharing his care, make sure you get involved. Well, Where are they? One like last one. Go bench on. 504, man. I've got to give a shout out then to them because they're my sticker boys. There you go. Boom. See, so you've got them all in. Lastminute.com. Games, man. If I forgot ya, I didn't mean it. <laughs> he didn't mean it. He didn't mean to forget. Under pressure. Yeah. <laughs> we are like that. Stay lucky, people. Peace. Peace.